Okay, so hello again everyone. I uh, hope you're all uh, well and uh, doing well and everything. Um, today I thought I'd make a video, a quick video on uh, my kind of workout routine. Um, some of the exercises I do at the gym, some I do at home. I was going to just kind of show you some that I do at home and uh, hopefully you can take something away from this video. Um, there'll be about maybe sort of five to ten exercises, I'm not sure how many I can sort of uh, think of <laughs> that I do. I do quite a few. I guess at home sometimes, like if I'm struggling or just I just don't want to go to the gym or something or I'm tired or something and I just want to do a sort of quick workout in the house, um, I can do sort of some of these. So um, I'll just get straight into the video and I'll show you some of these. Obviously some um, some are sort of lower body, some are upper body. Um, I'm also a kind of an incomplete spinal injury so it kind of means generally that um, some of the nerves are damaged and some aren't. So kind of still got some ability or a lot of ability in my legs um, that I can work with to do some exercises with them so um, and obviously the upper body ones I would hope that um, the majority of you could maybe sort of try them and um, it would be quite good um, <laughs> if I could actually show some adaptations that I've put on to these exercises that um, you could maybe take away and actually implement into your own workout um, so I'll show you sort of, sort of, well, sort of. I'll show you um, several exercises that I do, um, such as the tricep uh, dips, uh, and I'll show you how I adapted that and such, and just uh, some push-ups and such, and um, squats. Um, so I can show you how to do those, and uh, and I hope you can take something away from this video. So the first exercise I'll show you is the the tricep dips. Um, now these are probably not too easy at first when you're starting them but um, I don't know, I somehow kind of got into doing them quite a lot because um, it is quite a kind of convenient exercise because it's just off the front of the chair literally you can use your chair uh, to do it if you use a chair um, and um, so this is how you do it, you just push forward on your chair, kind of get your uh, butt to the edge <laughs> and um, put your hands on the side bars right here and um, you'll push off the front so you're kind of in the air a bit as if you're about to do sort of a transfer or whatever and then just go down and basically push back up and you can do about 10 of those for about 3 sets or so um, quite a good exercise to do um, for the triceps and the back of the arms. So that's that exercise. It's um, obviously I've kind of been doing it for a while, so I'm um, kind of obviously not well, but I hope you can take something away from it and uh, maybe try it out because it is it's quite a convenient exercise. Cause it's literally just off the front of the chair. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's that one. So the next exercise I'll do is uh, I'll actually get onto the floor to do it. Um, these are sort of obviously push-ups. Um, now getting onto the floor, it's just basically doing sort of tricep press down. Kind of that's why I do. It. There's actually a video on how to get onto the floor on my video if you want uh, on my channel if you want to see it. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna get the chair out of the way first and. Um, what I'll do is I'll put my legs kind of at uh, the back of me. I've actually got my leg splints on right now, so so literally when you get your legs to the back of you like this, um, you're just going to, um, what I do is I just kind of, now I will just push up onto my arms. But if you're starting out, you might want to get like onto your front first and then push up that way. So it's kind of like like that, kind of similar but it's just an easier way of doing it and I'll just get onto my knees like this because obviously I can't straighten out my legs and do a push up and I'll just kind of obviously do the push up standard um, doing it this way And obviously about maybe sort of 
Uh, through about three sets of ten again, maybe of those, um, including the workout. Very good kind of for just the overall kind of arm and chest and such, um, I would say. So basically that's that exercise and I hope you can take that kind of adapt uh, adaptation away with you. And um, so just doing it on the knees is probably the easiest way of doing the push-up um, in general uh, for this situation. Um, and uh, that's probably the kind of best way of doing it. Um, if you've got kind of limited power in the legs, um, there is kind of obviously once you manage to kind of master getting onto the knees, it will be sort of fairly easy for you. It should be enough once you kind of build a, build up enough strength kind of in the arms, like such as kind of um, just kind of generally building to sort of this stage, kind of managing to sort of uh, maintain these kind of positions, and then once you kind of do that then you can sort of start the push up um so yep that's that one anyway <laughs> so yeah this exercise is basically kind of like obviously one that everybody loves to do just because it's uh yeah biceps <laughs> um so it's quite um reasonably easy obviously done in the chair um just obviously work with a uh, i don't know obviously a small weight at first and such and then build up um, kind of generally what you want to do is kind of lean onto the back of your chair and uh, lean to the side obviously get as far to the side as possible so you're not going to like damage the wheel or something um, and then I'm just going to get a bit further back so I can show you and then obviously just kind of curl up um, you can obviously watch videos on how to do a bicep curl if you really want to um, I'm just using a really small weight here just because of the video, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how to do the bicep curls in the chair. Fairly easy. Um, because it's obviously just kind of you're sitting on the chair and you can curl up. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's that exercise. and. Um, you can obviously uh, do other bicep um, or other dumbbell exercises. You can just kind of lie on the floor on your back potentially and um, kind of maybe do some chest press and such. Um, but yeah, um, I don't tend to actually do those uh, just because I kind of will go to the gym and do the sort of the chest press there on the sort of machine. I personally prefer that for some reason. I don't know, it seems just a lot easier for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, obviously you can do other exercises with dumbbells, but I don't personally really do very many of them. Um, but probably the way you could do it is probably by literally just like lying on your back and um, just doing the same way as everybody else would do. Um, like maybe sort of pushing up with the arms into the air with two dumbbells. And uh, you could get a chest press in that way. Um, that's another idea for the dumbbells. And uh, also... Um, if you wanted to do some rows or something, you can maybe sort of do it like this. Probably not the best way of doing it, you'd probably better get onto your uh, knees again and doing it that way. I could actually just show you that quickly just now. Um, hopefully there's enough angle on the camera. Um, literally just back onto the floor again and getting into the same kind of position as you were in the the push-up routine. Um, so if you've got that down, get into this position. Oops, <laughs> damage the door. Um, and literally, sometimes what I'll do is I'll just lift the dumbbell like that. It's going to work like the the laterals at the side. I believe it's called that. <laughs> And you can do that. Um, I don't do that very often at all, actually, surprisingly, because just because it's not, I don't know, it's not the simplest and easiest exercise, and I don't really bodybuild very often anyway. But um, to get a basic workout, uh, workout, and obviously do all these exercises I've shown you. But yeah, that's that one anyway. <laughs> So now I'll actually move on to a couple of the leg exercises I do. I'll show you maybe two of the good kind of exercises I do. 
um, maybe three, uh, there's a hamstring one as well that I want to maybe include. Um, there is a lot of leg exercises that you can do if you go to a physiotherapist, you'll be recommended generally by them to do uh, different kind of leg exercises. But this is the kind of the first one that I do, and it's just called a general leg kick up. Um, you're just gonna um, literally just sit on your chair, maybe a bit to the edge, and just kick the leg up. And uh, it's literally just like a set of, I don't know, maybe 10 of these, maybe three sets, three sets of 10 on each leg. So obviously, kind of both legs I can generally do. I should probably do this a lot more often because obviously the muscles in my legs are still quite weak uh, to walk with so I'm still kind of sort of working with it <laughs> every so often. Not as motivated with these exercises as I am with uh, the upper body ones just because probably the upper body ones are a lot easier to do. But yeah that's that exercise anyway and um, I hope you could maybe um, do this even if it's just like a small leg kick up literally. It's like working um, <clears throat> the quadricep in the leg, uh, any leg obviously, and um, that's just a very good exercise to do just to kind of maintain sort of the muscles re to a reasonable standard. Or <clears throat> if you're aiming to walk again, then it's quite good. So, this next exercise, um, nearly the last one that I'm going to show you, uh, so I'm not going to keep the video on for any longer. <laughs> Um, I'm just literally going to transfer onto the bed right here and I'm actually going to, I'm just going to put the bed up like that so I can show you how I do this. Because um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to jam the legs at, well not jam them, but put the legs up to the back of the side of the bed. For some reason that gives a good support with the squats and my situation and maybe some other people's situations. <laughs> so. Sometimes I'll use a crutch just to help me get up at first. Um, now obviously you know, um, most of the people watching this video would expect to know what a squat is. Um, you just literally stand up and um, you'll go back down and come back up. And that is literally it. I can generally put the crutch aside now that I'm up and just come back down and go back up. And just do this maybe about sort of ten times for about three or four sets. Now how low you go is obviously up to you, that is probably some sort of song lyric or something, but <laughs> um but yeah literally just I can even feel it just now in sort of the quadriceps. And that's that exercise. So a fairly hard exercise probably to start out with, but um, if you can get it eventually then that is like a very very beneficial exercise and it probably will definitely spur you on to potentially sort of walking again on maybe sort of part time basis, um, like myself kind of, um, just kind of walking around every so often, um, but yeah, it's definitely a very good exercise to do. So that is basically it for this video. Um, now obviously all the exercises I'll um, list in the um, the description box below. Um, all the kind of exercises, um, I would hope you'd be able to maybe uh, take some of the ideas away. That was the whole point of this video. It's not like you need to follow it exactly or do any of them, but you can um, take away some of, maybe some of the ideas on uh, getting into certain sort of positions to do certain exercises. Um, Obviously, kind of um, sorry, I've been not been making videos for a while. It's kind of uh, because I've uh, been thinking of ideas for videos, and it's kind of been difficult because just due to the uh, the fact that I've made like loads of other videos on uh, lots of different things uh, in the situation. Uh, I've been doing sort of obviously done videos on sort of curbs and uh, getting onto the floor and uh, doing certain things just to obviously uh, moving around and such. Um, when I was sort of first in the chair, obviously I had a lot of. Uh, different ideas for videos um, but yeah uh, feel free to comment any ideas for videos and I'll uh, obviously I'll take them on and uh, I can make videos about them um, but obviously I'm trying to get back into sort of making videos now just because obviously the uh, the channel I've kind of <laughs> left for a while 
um, and not made any uh, videos like this for it. Um, so uh, feel free to leave your ideas and requests, I will certainly try and make a video on them. Um, even if it's just a talking video literally about like certain situations or self-consciousness or anything. I think I've actually made a video uh, before on that. Um, my last video it's sort of like dealing with the, the whole situation psychologically um, uh, when you're actually first sort of uh, using a wheelchair. Um, but yeah, um, just uh, just felt I uh, just felt like I'd make this video because I kind of came up with the idea there a day ago. So I thought I uh, I could make a video on sort of uh, doing exercises, <laughs> uh, all the home exercises I do. I never really thought of uh, doing that before. Um, so yeah, I hope you can take something away from this video, as I've said, and um, and I uh, hope all the all the exercises were kind of beneficial, and uh, you'll be able to maybe uh, do them. Uh, so thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.